Welcome to another Darktable tutorial. In this video, we'll look at styles and presets and learn how to use those to speed up our workflow and make more professional edits in Darktable. We've learned in the past that we can just copy the entire history stack from an image and apply it to another one. That's similar to how styles will work, but instead of having to hold all those changes in our clipboard and only be able to apply one specific uh, history stack at a time, uh, styles is right down here, right below the history stack. And what Styles lets us do is save a certain, all the changes, all the modules and their settings. We can save that. So we'll click Create, and it brings up this box. And we can just call this Cool Black and White and go to Save. And now we can apply that to images when we're in uh, the dark room and doing our edits. So the other way to do this is we can just come up here like we've learned in the past and go Copy. We copy all of them and then click on the image we want to apply them to and go Paste. So this is not styles, this is just copying the modules with their settings and applying them to another image. Whereas styles, once we've done this, once we've created a style and we go into the dark room, we can select any image like this one here. And then we can just come down, it's this teeny little icon and we click on this and it brings up a dialog and says what style or kind of like a list. And I only have one right now, this one that I just created. But if we click on it, it applies uh, everything that was on that image, which is only uh, it actually duplicated some of that stuff over there, but it basically applied all that to, the, to here. Let's go look at another one. So I have one that I made some changes to earlier, and this one does have uh, a little bit. So I did some color correction. We have some split toning. I mean, not color correction. I did some monochrome. I did some split toning. Um, did a little bit of, uh, I put a vignette around it. So this is maybe if I want to replicate this look or have this be like a signature look for pictures that I do, I could come into the light table and then go to this drop down here for styles and I'll just go to create. Oh, I want, want to make sure I'm selected on that image, which I am and click on create. And now I'll call this one TJ cool filter. And I'll just click save. And now this is saved here. So now I have two different options. So now when I'm in the dark room, if ever I want to see just very quickly, I wonder what this image here would look like with my cool filter settings. I can just click this here and go to TJ cool filter and it adds all of those modules with all of those settings to them. So that's styles. Now that's different from presets. What the presets let us do is if we apply something like a vignette, for example, we want to apply that to here. There's these three little lines and we've looked at this a little bit before, actually. We click on these lines and we have some different options. So here's a one that I created called Dark Vin. It creates a very strong dark vignette around the image. Um, there's one that's built in called Lomo, and it just looks like this, not quite as strong. But it adjusts all these different changes, but it's only for this module. So it's not applying a bunch of different modules to an image. It's just changing the different input values for this particular module. So if we notice, we come down here to Soften, there are no presets. And if we click on vignette, it's going to have presets specific to the vignetting. Um, we can go to um, like our tone curve, um, has some different ones. We have like a high contrast we can click on and see what that looks like. These are built in. There's a linear, so we can see, and then we can see what they look like too. We have a medium contrast, which the curve looks like this and it makes these changes. And if we want to adjust this and make our own custom one, we can do that as well. We just get it to where we, the input to the way that we like it. We click on these three lines and go to store new preset. And it comes up with a dialog. So I can call this one extreme and go okay. And now we can apply that to any image we want. We open up a new image and we go to extreme and we see how that adjusts this image and how it makes it look. Uh, to delete a preset, if we wanna get rid of that extreme, we can click on it and just go to uh, apply it first, and then we just go to delete this preset. It comes up with a dialogue, we just say yes, and now that preset is no longer there. And that's the same with the styles. If we go back into light table, we can delete a style by just clicking on it and going to delete, and then that style will no longer be available. One preset that we've used in the past that before we kind of talked about presets are the presets for the base curve based on different cameras. And so these are uh, put in by default. And again, we can make our own and save our own custom preset if we want to. Uh, and so that's just a great powerful feature using these presets and using styles. In the next tutorial, we'll learn how to create our own style based off of an existing image. 
So if we want to have this sort of look and feel and apply it to a picture of our own, that's just a picture I downloaded, we'll learn how to take the colors from that using this color mapping module. And so that should be a lot of fun. We'll take like a sky picture like this and hopefully be able to make it look, uh, apply that to a sky picture that I've taken that's not nearly as cool. Thanks for watching. Go ahead and leave your questions and comments below if you have any, and we'll catch you in the next video.